our next idea that I want us to think about just for a little while is the idea from the medieval period, and that's why we're here, of the whole thing of Minster Church. This is the ruins of Beeston Priory, less than a mile away from the lighthouse. And uh, we didn't know these were here and stumbled uh, upon them just literally a few months ago. Beeston Priory, there's not a lot about it in the history books. Um, there was no more than maybe four or five brothers or priests that were based here. But there was a whole community that went alongside that. There's the local argument that whether their school uh, became the foundation of what is now Gresham's. Some people will agree with that, some people wouldn't. But these places, and I'm not sure this was the best effective model because um, it had quite a few offsteads from bishops who didn't always think they were doing a good job. Um, but where the idea, the concept here is, they were a minster church. These minster churches were central around worship, and you see this fantastic worship space just through the arch. But not just that, there were three fishing ponds. Some of them still exist. Most of Beeston was part of the farmlands that the Priory owned. That brought in income, but it also brought employment. Pieces, people came here on their way to Walsingham, and one of the really interesting things about here they were part of one of the bigger orders, but they were also part of a small order that seems to be quite unique to North Norfolk called Peterstone. And I can find very little about them, but the one key thing about the Peterstone houses was their ministry to travellers or holiday makers now. How does that link with Lighthouse? So these were places that made money, they had businesses. Worship was central to them. They would bring people here for rest, who were maybe people who were just worn out, pilgrims. There were hospitals here, so there was caring. There was hospitality going on. They were places of industry. They made money. They made resources that they could use in kingdom purposes. I think Lighthouse is a minster church. I think we need to learn from the past that's on our doorstep. What do you think about that? What can God do through us thinking from the past that's on our doorstep? How is Lighthouse, a minster church that serves, is a place central of worship and prayer constantly going on, but at the same time busy in business, serving travellers, serving pilgrims, serving people that are beaten and battered, serving uh, preachers and missionaries that come for refreshment and rest. I think those elements are all in Lighthouse already. And with such an amazing group of people, what can God do?